Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm Carrie Lynn. If you're new here, here on my channel, I share DIYs, budget-friendly home decor, homemaking, and vlogs. I would love to have you stick around and hit that red subscribe button before you leave. Um, but today is going to be a very productive day in my life, just getting things done around the house, tackling one thing at a time. This video is all over the place, so bear with me while I tackle things before school starts, trying to get my life in order, um, and hopefully it'll give you some motivation and inspiration to tackle your space as well. I'm starting off today's video with laundry. So laundry has always been a struggle in this house. <laughs> I cannot even count the, the amount of times I've told you guys that, but I did get caught up a couple weeks ago and I have been doing my one load a day and it's been a game changer. Every morning I start a load by midday, I switch it over and it's ready to fold, you know, obviously in just like an hour or so. Um, and as long as I stay on top of wash, dry, fold, I'm good. The one moment I set this basket aside, it becomes a massive pile. So I've been trying to just tackle it, even though it's not my favorite chore of all time, it just turn on some music, jam out, get it done, and just keep in mind that having clean laundry in the drawers is so important to my family, and that is like one of my duties as a stay-at-home mom, and you know, it's just part of my job, so I'm trying really hard to focus on more of like being a better homemaker and trying to get things done around the house on time and efficiently. So I'm trying, I'm trying you guys, <laughs> we'll see. But I decided to organize my husband's drawers. Um, so we share a dresser, he gets three drawers and I get three plus the top three. <laughs> And so, um, unfortunately, there's just not enough space. I think we just have too much crap, to be honest. But I organized it. I'm trying to declutter as I go as well. But after doing that, I went ahead and moved into the kitchen. I'm going to unload the dishwasher and load it up. Say you love me. Say you don't. Just give me something so I can move on. Pull me closer or push me away. Let me know if we'll be okay. Cause I can't stand another moment. At this point, I'm kind of just like surface cleaning. Um, to be honest, we have not been in a deep clean phase recently. It's just kind of pointless 
to be 100% real. And we're surviving over here. So I just honestly, surface clean is good to me. Um, and I'm just working on wiping off the counters and the table. By the time I cleaned off the kitchen table though, or the dining room table, the kitchen island was already a mess again. So I had to wipe that down one more time. Um, and then I'm going to cook dinner. And in this video, I'm actually going to share with you two recipes that we made. Um, both of them are really good. One's really inexpensive, quick, easy. And then the other one's a little bit more extravagant. So I had filmed both of them and I plan to include them in separate videos. But the truth is I only have one video right now. So let's just add them to the, the same video. So the first meal is gonna be sausage and rice. This is like so, so easy to make. You can buy the Hillshire Farm pack of sausage and then you can use whatever rice you want. So this is the sausage that I like to use. One pack is fine for our family, but if you have a bigger family, you might need two. And we like the rice aroni. So um, while I cut up the sausage, I go ahead and get the rice going on the stove and I just dice the sausage up into little slices and I brown it once the sausage and rice are done, you can bind the two together and you can make whatever vegetable you want on the side. In this case, we had broccoli and then some leftover pasta salad on this day. So I just kind of make a nice little plate and that's it. That's dinner. Um, after dinner, though, I needed a little pick me up. So I made a quick coffee. I did do half um, classic and then half of my decaf. So that way I didn't get too much energy. Then I just made a little cold foam out of milk, added a little bit of cinnamon on top for a really cute coffee, which gave me the next little burst I of also energy to clean finish up, up some laundry. Dinner. I didn't film me cleaning up after dinner just because, um, it was, I didn't want it to be too repetitive since I had already cleaned the kitchen earlier in the video, but I got the kitchen cleaned up. I got the floors vacuumed and I still had energy left. So I was like, well, let's mow. <laughs> so after I get um, the sink wiped out, the floors vacuumed. We're going to move outside and get some stuff done out there. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Side, I'm gonna weed eat first and then mow. I kind of weed eat in sections because it does kill my arms. This weed eater is so heavy. I love it. I love that it's battery operated, but it is, whew, it's an arm workout. So I kind of do little sections and then I mow, I weed eat again, and then I mow again. So it just helps give me a little break in between. Um, but I had to fix it. I was having some issues, which you'll see right here. So this is why people say to wear jeans and wear eye protection when you are weed eating. The weed eater string actually broke off and came back and whacked my leg and cut my leg. I was actually bleeding. Um, I didn't realize I was bleeding until later I took off my pants, obviously. Um, but this is no joke. It's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. <laughs> I love weed eating and mowing though, so I just like tough it out, but ugh, don't do it in leggings. Paradise, you know how to make me feel alive. 
give me some love, nah, nah. Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah. Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah. You gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah. Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah. The next day, we had another list of things to do. We had to get all the school shopping done. I also wanted to get some laundry going first thing that morning. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to stay on top of this and do the one load a day. So I was literally out of laundry soap <laughs> and I had to do the pour water in, shake and pour thing. So I got some laundry going that morning. Um, and like I said, I'm just waiting on my grocery order to get there. I'll share with you guys a haul and then we're gonna do a little school clothes shopping. So my groceries were delivered and I'm just going to carry those in and get everything unloaded so I can give you a haul. Um, but I was actually on the phone with my sister-in-law. Well, technically not on the phone. We send voice memos back and forth all day and it's really nice because it makes you feel like you're not alone all day. As a stay-at-home mom, although you have your children home with you, sometimes it can get a little lonely not having the adult interaction that I feel like we need. So having someone that you can voice memo back and forth with or text or even just talk on the phone, um, I feel like just makes the day really enjoyable and fun and she was honestly cracking me up because we were talking about an upcoming vacation and I was like I don't know if we're gonna go and she's like don't be dumb <laughs> and she's like you're coming or whatever it was just really funny so I was laughing and just enjoying talking to her while I tackled my mom duties All right, I have quite the grocery haul to share with you guys today. I ordered a ton of food, don't mind the bags. <laughs> I haven't picked those up yet. But I have all of our meats over here, just kind of like snack foods, things that aren't um, food related, and then lots of stuff over here as well. So we're gonna start here and just kind of work our way around. So, starting on this side, we have some Eggos, um, our coffee creamers that we like. Dylan likes this one, this is my favorite. I really love this creamer. It's probably one of my favorites. I keep buying it and I haven't gotten tired of it, which is a huge win in my book because usually after a while I use the same creamer and then all of a sudden I just don't like it. But that one I've been using for a couple months and it's awesome. Um, I also got more of the crispy red peppers. I talked about these in a vlog and so many of you asked where I get them. Walmart. You can just type in crispy red peppers. They are so good. You can put them on sandwiches. Um, you can put them in salads. You can eat them right out the bag. <laughs> they are delicious, so I got those. I got some vanilla um, yogurt. I have some mini semi-sweet chocolate chips to go in the yogurt and some walnuts. The kids like to have that as like a little treat. So we have that. I got some Kohl's mozzarella cheese sticks. These are gonna be for spaghetti. Um, okay, I do see the spaghetti sauce. For a second there, I was like, dang, I didn't see the spaghetti sauce, but we're gonna have spaghetti tonight probably. I got two of the Uncrustables, different ones. These are just great to grab and go. Um, we always like to have these on hand. Dylan eats these. He'll eat like four of these at night for a snack too. <laughs> I got some green beans. I got the cut green beans. And then our favorite is the fine green beans. They have to be the Great Value brand. These are the bomb. I don't cook them in the microwave. I put these on the stove with fresh garlic and butter and saute them till they're like brown. Oh, they're so good. They taste right out of a restaurant um, and they are one of the best sides. So got those. I got some mushrooms, some fresh rosemary here, strawberry jelly, 
bananas, two loaves of bread. I always freeze one and leave one out. And then I got some deli bread to make, just like sub sandwiches. So I got the everything bread. Um, this one's just seasoned really well with all kinds of like seasonings. And I don't know, it's really good. Um, and then I just get the plain one for the kids. I got some pepperoni, summer sausage, onion, butter, cream cheese, eggs, California style vegetable mix, and then my spring mix. This is for my salads. Um, this is three dollars, by the way, and this gets so, or this makes so many salads for me. And I, I love like a quick, easy salads. I just throw spring mix, crispy red peppers, onions, cucumber, with some of my favorite dressing, and it's so good. Quick, easy lunch. Um, I think I said this, but I got bagels here. Au jus mix. This is for like if we make sandwiches one day, you just kind of make this on the side and you dip your sandwich in it. It just, oh my gosh, it's so good. I don't know why they gave me. I usually buy the regular brand because it does taste a little better to be honest, but I'm sure this one will be fine. I got some um, fresh corn, some gala apples, whole thing of strawberries and grapes, um, some salsa, or wait, queso, cheese dip salsa, and then just regular salsa with some restaurant style corn tortilla chips. That's like one of our favorite snacks to have. And then over here, I have some potatoes. We like to have potatoes all the time as a side, just diced up, mashed potatoes. Um, there's just so many ways you can do potatoes and they're so good, so got those. I got a taco kit to make for dinner one night. Two boxes of macaroni and cheese. We got our laundry soap here and our softener. Frosted Flakes, Cosmic Brownies, Fudge Rounds, and Honey Buns. Then I got my spaghetti sauce. There it is. I thought that they didn't give it to me. It should be over there, but anyway, I got that. Got some deodorant, um, some toothpicks to make stuffed chicken is the plan. So I'm going to use the toothpicks and like the mushrooms, maybe some onion and stuff, uh, chicken breast, which is over here. So I got a big pack of chicken breast here to like divide and make multiple dinners. I got some bacon, sausage, ground beef, pork steaks, which are our favorite. I always talk about these, but you gotta try them if you haven't. Look how cheap they are, and they have the best flavor, I swear. So, got those. Got a thing of ribs to do for dinner one night, and then a bunch of different cheeses for stuffing the chicken. So, I'm gonna do like a, a mushroom, I think Parmesan chicken one night. I don't really know, I'm just gonna kinda wing it. So I got some Monterey Jack cheese, Colby Jack, Parmesan, sliced provolone for sandwiches, a head of cabbage, some tomatoes, cucumber, and lemons. Obviously the tomatoes and the ugly cucumber are for my salads. <laughs> like, who picked this out? Who was like, you know what, this is a great cucumber. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder who like picks out the stuff and like look at the lemons they're like I don't know they just look really bad but it happens sometimes it's just part of ordering online sometimes you get really good shoppers and sometimes you get people who just don't care <laughs> and today they did not care about the lemons and tomatoes and the cucumber but it's fine I'm not gonna complain anyway that's all the stuff that I got oh wait just kidding I got some milk um, sweet tea orange juice and heavy whipping cream to make like a good sauce for the stuffed chicken breast. So I'm just gonna like separate that, bake it, and then whatever juices are left, kind of make like a sauce out of it using the whipping cream and maybe like, I don't know, some fresh garlic or something and try to whip up like a nice little yummy thick sauce would be good. So that's all the groceries I got. Now I gotta put all this away. To you. These are awesome, are they, are they my size? No. These are cute. Like, these are cute. I can hear the rain. Yep. So oh, these are cute and they fit, but they're squeaky. I'm gonna you wanna try those? Those are cool. <gasps> Dude. Where's your toe? Is it too big? It's a little too big. Yeah. You're looking for a three, babe. This is a two right Whoa, wow. those are so cute. Oh my, wow. There's so many. Hey y'all, <clears throat> my voice. Um, we are back from school shopping. We got home, I made some spaghetti for dinner. 
and switched over the laundry. I honestly am exhausted. After we left um, the shoe carnival, we went to Old Navy and then we went to Walmart and I got all the things that the kids needed as far as like clothing, book bags, stuff like that. Um, and then I haven't gotten any school supplies. I'm just going to wait till after orientation day because usually the teachers give out a more specific list. So I'm just going to go based off of that instead. Um, but yeah, Phew, what a day. It's tiring. But we had fun. We had a really good time. The kids got everything they needed, like I said, socks, um, shoes. I had to order my son's shoes because they didn't have his size in stock. I feel like he just got a common size. So we're actually going to have like a little fashion show and figure out what um, Amaya is going to wear for the first day of school. And this is the book pad. I love it. This one actually came with uh -huh. headphones too, which is cool. And, and it was 24 bucks. So and I have a lunchbox and there's also one back here. Oh, I right love there. it. Love it. And oh, and it, we can write your name right down here, the little tab, too. And it cool. also has rainbows. Ooh, cute. So she got a watch. I want to show them. Okay. And then your really cute shoes. They glitter. Love That's those. Nice. They are really, really cute. These are the Skechers mm -hmm. brand. I'll see if I can link these. These are, like, the cutest. I love these. Um, so exciting. School shopping is, like, the best as a kid. I remember going school shopping when I was little. Ma'am. She's like, love me. I know. She says, excuse me, I'm going to squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you want from me? Hey, everyone. So it is the next day. Yesterday, got all my groceries put away. I ended up taking the kids school shopping, which was a lot of fun. We had a blast. It actually poured on the way there, though. So we got there and we kind of got stuck inside trying on shoes and stuff, but we had a good time. And then we ended up leaving there, going to Walmart, got the kids the rest of what they needed. So it was a good day. I'm happy I got all that tackled because that was like something I was a little stressed about trying to like make time to do that. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna make dinner tonight with my husband. So him and I are making stuffed chicken. Earlier during the grocery haul, I did share that this was like kind of the plan. So we took some mushrooms and some red onions, we chopped those up, and we threw those in a pan with some butter to saute them a little bit. And then we are going to stuff the chicken with the mushrooms, the onions, some Parmesan cheese, and kind of like toothpick it together and bake it in the oven. How much, you think? You didn't have mozzarella, you said? No, I can add. Huh? We don't have that. I have that. Okay, one right there. Yeah, that's fine. How that's much? A, that's enough for me. But I want some of this inside of it, too. Okay. Well, well actually, I'll take a little bit. We'll put some more right there, anyway. Really good. It's mozzarella and jack cheese mixed together. <laughs> Isn't that what it is? Coley jack and mozzarella? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. This looks fancy. Mm-hmm. Probably be better off like. I'm just trying to get more. Oh, mushrooms on yours. Mushrooms right now. Are you just gonna cook it like that, or are you gonna fold it up and stuff it? No, we probably need to fold it up. Okay. I'll. I'll. That's a lot of onions. Holy, it's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> This honestly looks really good. I wouldn't put none of that in theirs though. Is that good? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One more right there? Sure. Yeah. Good luck with this one. There's your one right there. Hmm? There's one right there, it just fell.
Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Do what? Yours is huge. There's a toothpick over there. How many are you putting in them? However many like it takes to each? get them closed oh. up. I forget that there's one in there. One, two, three. All right, so after we toothpicked these together, um, we baked it at 375 for about 45 minutes it took in our oven, but obviously you just want to make sure your chicken is cooked all the way through. Um, while that was cooking, we sliced up some... Um, squash and zucchini and this is how the chicken turned out you guys best dinner 10 out of 10 Dylan and I loved it all right, so that's actually going to be it for today's video. That's all I was able to film over the past couple days, but I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you like DIYs, budget-friendly decorating, and homemaking content, you will love my channel, and there's lots of other videos here for you to check out, so thank you for that, um, and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.